Hi guys, it's Andrew here from Easter Made Wood Splitters today and welcome back to the Easter Made channel. Out here in the wood yard and I got uh, I got something pretty cool here. First thing I want to say is uh, the most dangerous thing you will ever say when you're in business is we've always done it this way. Don't, don't ever go stagnant, don't ever quit reaching for higher ground. You need to continue to excel. This is what we have done here. I think we have kind of honestly hit the peak here this is this might be the the upper limit of where you're going to see commercial splitters go um what i have here with me is a 37 ton log splitter that cycles in just over four seconds absorb that for a second it's 37 tons it cycles in just over four seconds that's completely and totally unrivaled right now this is probably as fast and as powerful as you're going to see a wood splitter get is this easton made 37d now we're trying this out um we still have some testing to do on it but i'm pretty confident this is where this is the future you're going to see these 37ds set up like this and the 2040 is going to be set up very similar to this too it's going to be the same engine and pump configuration but with a smaller cylinder so it'll be even faster yet you'll want to hit that like and subscribe button so you can see that as soon as it comes out so like i said this is a 37d it has a d902 kubota on it um and you just see you just see the size of that the suction i was going to that pump this is this is something i've been wanting to do for for a long time and i'm finally in the position where we're able to we're able to play a little bit and we have enough pull um in the market and with suppliers that we can we can start buying this stuff and start getting a little better price on it with the volumes that we're doing now that we know where we're gonna be. So, like I said, th th this thing's just just insane. Like it's, <laughs> I think that this is gonna be about about, about the, the top of it. I don't think that you're gonna see them get, or something of this power get any faster than this. You simply can't load it fast enough. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the full of two or three guys to actually bring wood to this. And move it away from it even with the conveyor like it's like i said i think i think this is going to be about the top of it let me know what you guys think this is like i said that's pretty cool i'll go out i'll fire this up i'll show you folks how it works i really appreciate all the support folks without the support from you guys and the feedback and uh and having everybody around me it's it's been great this journey has been been pretty awesome and it's it's far from over thanks guys
Well, I'm still trying to catch my breath here. I'll tell you, that thing's completely and totally insane. And it's got gobs and gobs of power. You've seen those big beach that we're going through there with the knots on them. And, and the thing with beach too, you can get beach that's either really good spudding or you can get stuff that's really, really stringy. And that stuff seems to be pretty stringy, tough beach to split. And you can see it hardly gave this thing even a workout. It's just, <laughs> like I said, it's a, it's a pretty impressive machine. So if you're in the market for the top dog log splitter, this 37D is what's going to, uh, what's going to do it for you anyways. If you're a tree service guy or, uh, or somebody that just wants something that's really good, this thing here is well worth the investment. You can off a pile of wood at the back of it and, uh, and do it in a hurry too. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. I appreciate all your support. The feedback from everybody is absolutely amazing. Um, the community we're building around our products is great. So I just, again, guys, I just want to say thanks a lot. And uh, I really hope to see you on the next one. We have some, some more really cool machines coming up here in the future. So if you want to see something really cool like that run when it's all painted orange and blue, then you make sure you subscribe and we'll, uh, we'll show it to you here in a couple of weeks. Thanks for everything, guys.